Hey, good evening, fellow YouTubers. This is Steve, and today coming at you with another preview video of a statue that I have finally pulled the trigger on and added to my pre-order list. Uh, this comes from Transcendent Studio. They are a fairly new company, um, and they're really kind of uh, focusing on... Um, uh, solo characters, uh, nice profile, uh, prolific statues, and uh, the customer service from them is really solid. And there's a guy who always answers the questions. Um, so scrolling down, uh, you can see here that um, these are the statues they've had. This, I think, was their first one. I have this one uh, at home, and it's a very cool statue. Uh, it is their first of their... Um, uh, double ones. I think Beerus and Weez are next. Uh, then they have Gohan, and I've I've never really cared for to for future Gohan too much. Not that I dislike his story or anything. I just never got into him. Uh, but today I want to show you all this bad boy here, and this is the Transcendent Studios Super Boo One Fourth Scale uh, resin model. Now, this was announced quite a while ago, and, uh, you know, I've, I've debated about it for a very long time, and uh, the deposit price on this wasn't very high, and uh, this is actually about uh, about 75 bucks cheaper than what I paid for the Androids. Granted, the Androids were two quarter-scale characters, and here you just one, but this statue is about, I think, two or three inches uh, taller. Now, you can see from these pictures here, I'm going to go zoom a little bit here. Uh, there's the actual thing. So this is part of their looks line, uh, which I guess is something that they've kind of started. Uh, Future Gohan was the first one. Super Boo is the second. I guess it's uh, going to be more of a, of a profile type statue. And you can see it's a very simple base. It's nothing too crazy. Uh, and uh, it focuses more on the character. And now what I like about these statues, if the Android uh, statue is, is any indication is these don't take up a lot of space. The base for the androids was, of course, slightly larger due to having two characters. This one, I believe, is slightly thinner and not as deep as the androids. Um, this is going to be about 57, 58 centimeters tall, which uh, I believe is about a foot and a half. Um, so, uh, you know, it's a decent height. It's a good character build. Uh, let's keep on focusing here. There's another side view. We have the back view, and what I like here is the uh, part of his body, the slime, and anybody who follows the show knows that these two uh, gooey things end up absorbing uh, Gotenks and Piccolo to make, uh, well, what is known as uh, Gotenks Absorbed Super Boo. Uh, it makes it even more stronger. That's a better view of that here. Another view of the whole, what's there? So there's that. And then that. So I don't know if these are two different skulls, but uh, it could be the way that the picture's taken. I don't really know. But And there's a picture of the base. And what I like is it's very streamlined. You know, it's, it's a very kind of simple base. You know, the rocks look really cool. The texture looks really cool. So uh, you can see here a couple things about them. Uh, yeah, 56.6 centimeter tall. Uh, it says it's packed with extras, including metal, COA, and additional surprises. So who knows what that is. Uh, packaging, blah, blah, blah. They do do good packaging. Um, you see the front price is 379 This is British pounds. I think it's just below 500 US dollars. Um, and it's due for quarter three of this year. Uh, very limited edition size. Now, the Androids were 120 pieces. So uh, I'm assuming this is probably the same... Uh, I don't know what Gohan was, um, and I know the shipping for the Android was about another 120 bucks. Now, being that this is one character, it should be a little bit less, uh, so, um, yeah, it's not a bad price for a one-quarter statue, um, and what I like about this statue and, and what it does for my collection is it adds a little bit of color to my collection. I don't really have anything that's like a pink and kind of white, so this will really stand out. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, again, this is a studio that's that's fairly new, um, and they really capture the look of the character from 
the anime. Uh, so I'm actually quite excited for this. I said I wasn't going to get any more statues, but um, I was like, well, I'll get this one, you know. Because uh, more than likely, some of the ones I have waiting for me back home, I will, um, I will probably get. And so, speaking of back home and what we have coming, I figured I'd just lump this into one video as opposed to making a different one. So we're going to minimize some stuff here and go up here. And I want to show everybody kind of what I have coming up in the future. So first things first is I have this. I don't have a bunch of pictures of these. These are just kind of what I used uh, to save. Uh, so I know this is a JH Studios uh, Super Saiyan Goku. You can see compared to a can. I think this is one six. Uh, depending on how this comes in, um, you know, because I am worried about all these pieces. These seem to be, be very breakable. If this comes in good shape, um, I might end up selling it. I'm not quite sure. We'll see what happens. But that's been paid for shipping already, so it should be shipping sometime soon. Uh, the next, I have this, which is the SHK Great Ape Series Baby from Dragon Ball GT. Uh, I have this on order. Uh, I paid for shipping on this. This bad boy was expensive to ship. Uh, so I'm assuming it's going to be huge. Um, and uh, this is one that I'm probably not going to sell. Because uh, I do... I, I never... I'm, I'm not a gigantic fan of GT. I believe they had a lot of good ideas. But the execution was a little whack. But I appreciate what they tried to do with Baby. Uh, but I do like the golden... Uh, Ozuro is what they call it, or the Golden Ape form, and uh, plus it's 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 very eye catchy. Now, from people who have received some of these, they have complained that there have been breaks on the hair. So I'm hoping uh, that um, mine comes in in good condition because it looks like these. If anything breaks on his arms, it looks like it's going to be very heavy. Uh, another thing I just paid for shipping. And I'm excited for is this bad boy. Light Studios Super Saiyan Broly. Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. This guy is a beast. He uh, Now, most of my statues back home go for about 57 centimeters tall. This dude is 73. Um, he's going to be a beast. He's going to be what I call a grail piece, uh, which is something I'm probably not going to sell. Last Sleep Studios came out with a Broly, which I passed up on. And I'm kicking myself for doing it because now that I'm seeing people get them in, I'm like, man, that would be like the ultimate grail. You can find a ton of Broly statues out there, but for the size of this dude and the price that he was, it was a no-brainer. It was the guys I had to get them. So, like that. Another couple things here coming up in the pipeline. Uh, still paying for this. This is PBR's Broly, uh, computer-generated image. Waiting to see what's going on to this. Haven't really heard too many updates on this. So I'm kind of kind of eyeing this one. I've, I've stopped paying for my order because I just want to see more. Uh, could be possibly one that I sell. You know, I don't know. Whoops. Well, I was going to show that one last. But here's one of my big ones here that I'm excited for. Actually, let me get the... I'm going to go back. We'll go back to that one in a sec. Hold on. Here's another one. Um, I forgot who made this one. I think it's F-Zero. Uh, but this is a one-quarter scale at 55 centimeters. Uh, Kefla. Uh, badass character from Super and a, fe a good female character. Uh, again, not a statue that should take up a ton of space, um, but it still has enough presence with its color palette that it'll be really cool to have. Uh, coming up from Resident Evil 2 is the Liquor Bust. This is a 1 1 scale. This is due to, due to ship next month. Uh, it was originally supposed to be shipped, but there was an incident with a lot of the tongues that the magnets were not put in. And so people were getting these statues in, and the tongue wasn't staying in. So they had to kind of re-get them back, fix them up, and get them back. So kind of get that going on over here. Um, moving over, uh, something I posted in my other video. This is going to be my ultimate piece, uh, which is the one-scale Goku bust due out, uh, I think, at the end of the year, due to ship at the end of the year. So a good chance I probably won't get this until... November, December, maybe even January of 2023. Uh, this is going to be my my baby, uh, my, gra my, my grail piece. Um, and I'm excited I, I decided to pull the trigger because I got one of the last three that were available. So it kind of makes me happy. Uh, waiting for this bad boy here from KD, top of the line. This is going to be another grail piece, one that I won't get rid of. Uh, this has been paid, so I'm just waiting on the shipping invoice. And shipping should be, uh, I think... Uh, I think the guy said next month, so uh, if everything goes well, ship next month, and I should get it in hand by 
probably July. So that'll be really cool. I'm really excited for this one. I don't have anything Vegeta related, so that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, here's another one that's kind of been in limbo for a while, which is NC Collectibles Cooler. Um, again, I got it because of its its presentation, the color palette. And Cooler's badass. I wish he was one of the villains that actually came into the canon for Dragon Ball Z instead of just being a movie character. But... Um, yeah, this is kind of cool looking thing. I love the rocks, the smoke, um, very simple base, and then the LED, the purple LED is gonna be really cool. I'm excited for that one. Uh, next one is a very simple. What's a Dragon Ball collection without a Dragon Ball? And this is a uh, life scale uh, Dragon Ball Four, Namek Dragon Ball Four, uh, and this again will go into the center of my eventual. Um, uh, display case, you know, so that might be something that uh, I'll get in. I'll take a peek probably keep it in storage until I I get situated um, Switching from Dragon Ball for a little bit we have this the T-1000 from Terminator 2. This is from pure art studio um, He is due to ship at the end of the year uh, We've got him going I have the uh, Terminator endoskeleton, so I'm excited for that. Uh, this is gonna be cool. This will be my first um I guess you can say lifelike uh, collectible. Uh, so I'm interested to see if the hair is actually like uh, you know fibers or whatnot. But I know from the preview video that these is, this is actual clothing. Same thing with his shirt, and I believe these are actually magnetized. So I'm very excited for that. Uh, I got the Goku bust, T1000. Uh, here is another Grail piece that's coming in from KD. One of the most iconic moments in Dragon Ball Z, and probably one of my favorite, um, the uh, father son Kamehameha. This thing is going to be fantastic. Uh, I can't wait to get this. And of course, it wouldn't be the same without going back to the cell Kamehameha. Um, so, uh, this is uh, part one of KD's. Uh, diorama. They just released a Majin Vegeta versus Boo diorama, which I, I just can't pull the trigger on right now um simply because of uh space and then uh it is tax season so i gotta be a little i gotta adult a little bit but uh if it's still available in the next few months uh then maybe i'll pull the trigger on it because i don't have a boo or a vegeta of any sort so it'd be good for the collection but again it's it's gonna come down to space and uh you know deciding what i want to keep in storage and whatnot but yeah so that's it folks um so I've got some cool things. Uh, plus, I got a couple of uh, a couple of um, statues at home waiting to be opened. So very excited, folks! Thank you for joining this video. Let me know what you're excited about. If you're not a fan, please like and subscribe uh, to see all the cool stuff coming out. And I'll talk to you guys later.